Hello. In this video we will show you how to use the remote lab. First, we access the remoteacrome.net website with our web browser. It is necessary to create an account on your first visit to the site. We can do this by pressing the login button in the upper right corner. After entering our information, we will be logged in automatically. Or we can manually do it by pressing this button and entering our information. After seeing the success message, you should be able to see your account name in the upper right corner. Now, let's press the try for free button, and select the device we will use in the system. In this tutorial, we will show you the ball balancing table experiment system. After selecting the product, the next screen will open to choose the date and time of our session. Remote Lab is referencing the GMT time, and you can find the instant GMT information at the top right. Let's continue by choosing the appropriate day and time of an idle product. As we press the book button, our user information will automatically appear on the registration page. If available, we should also enter the course information, where the remote lab is intended for use. When we click the book now button, the system will take us to our bookings page, and we will see our session information. Since we selected the same time in our example, we can access the system immediately by pressing the start session button. Now, let's see how we use the system in its quick demo mode. The session page consists of three parts. The mode selection button is located on the right side. If we select the quick mode, the system controls open in the middle. At the bottom, the video stream pane is located. In the first use, some warnings are opened, we should work on a larger visual by turning them off. Controls in the middle are active in quick mode. By using these controls, we can get the ball into the desired position. Every time we press the update button, the current control values are sent to the system's controller. By changing the basic PID coefficients, different characteristics of the system can be observed. For example, a large P coefficient creates an overshoot in the system. On the other hand, a small value results in the underdamped state, causing the system to reach the desired location in a longer time. Let's enter the ideal coefficient again and see the nominal operation. We have a decent speed and tolerable overshoot now. If we want to terminate the operation, or wish to change the programming mode, we should turn the system into standby by deselecting the run, stop. Let's see now how to use MATLAB Simulink codes in Remote Lab. First, we need to select the MATLAB Simulink mode from the right section of the screen. Then we have to download the MATLAB files by pressing the BBT files button above. Select the file in MATLAB to open the related file with Simulink. We also have to pay attention to the model version and make sure that it matches the version written on the session page. In a short while, the example Simulink diagram opens. We can drag the pre-opened scope images to empty places and see our interface clearly. For the Simulink diagram to work on our device, we have to perform hardware settings from the top menu. We just need to copy and paste the information written on the remote lab session page into the target our resources pane of this window. And then, close the window pressing apply and OK keys, and hit the run button. Our code will be compiled first, then transferred into the remote lab hardware, and finally the system will start running. After the compile, our report will pop up. We should close this report and then our program will start running. Let's place the objects in this way, so that we can see all the important information on a single screen. As we turn the control key to on position, our automatic control code will start running. We can follow the movements of the ball on the camera and scope screen. By changing the set point values, we can change the desired position of the ball. More examples and in-depth content is available in our courses. Now, we can turn off the system by switching the control key to off position and stopping the diagram. Thanks for watching.